Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon. I'm Shannon, and today we're going to be taking a look at the pop movies Big Trouble in Little China, number 156, Lightning Vinyl Figure. So stay tuned. So, hey guys, welcome to Comageddon. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to Come Again. As I said, I'm Shannon, and today we're going to be going over the Funko Pop Pop Movies Big Trouble in Little China, number 156, Lightning from the Three Storms, vinyl figure. Uh, excuse the lighting, I'm doing this in my office right now. I didn't feel like setting everything up out in the living room uh, or out in the dining room, and the lighting isn't the best, so I'm using my camera light right here or yeah my camera light here plus I've got this bar light plus I got the lights behind me so let's get into this and as you can see I'm holding up this bar light with a few Funkos <laughs> so anyway this is lightning and for those of you who don't know the Mortal Kombat character of Raiden, the God of Thunder, was based on Lightning from Big Trouble in Little China. And he is by far one of the best of the three. He is the best of the three storms. Uh, my personal favorite. He's peeking up there. On the back, you have Jack Burton, which is 151. Gracie Law, which is 152, Lopan 153, Rain, which is 154, Thunder, which is 155, and Lightning, which is 156. So let's, oh, and on the side here, you got his display side, which is how I display my pops just to save on room. So let's go ahead and open him up and take a look. Alright, so the clamshell, it does snap together. Take a look at the detail on this guy. You got the little uh, bamboo hat here, <clears throat> which is very nice. All the attention to detail on it. Um, they could have made the hat bigger, because if you recall, the Three Storms sorry i've got my windows open so you might hear a car or two drive by it's a really nice day out i don't feel like closing the windows um so anyway they should have made the hats a little bit bigger because if you guys recall they uh the three storms would kind of look through their hats um or they'd have to tip their heads up to kind of look um so yeah these hats should have really come down to about here and been a lot wider maybe out to here but it's still cool nonetheless uh, you got his armor on him very nice you got the strap that keeps his hat on got the black eyes and the eyebrows you got his little lightning blades that spin around in his hands you got the little gargoyle on his belt black pants and boots and then his cape very nice figure and once again his head does turn spin all the way around it's the only uh, articulation Funko does on their vinyl figures very nice figure 
Uh, I do eventually plan on getting the other two storms. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of Big Trouble in Little China. I've seen it a handful of times, but I've always liked the three storms. I love the design of them. Um, you know, <clears throat> and like I said before, the Mortal Kombat character Raiden, the God of Thunder, was actually based on lightning. Um, the art, the creator of Mortal Kombat and Raiden actually stated so in an interview, in a few interviews really. You got the little tuft that's on top of his head, his hat there. Very nice. Um, it also looks like he's got a dagger in his belt, which I completely missed. Um, anything else? No, not really. Um, nice silver paint job. Nice paint job altogether. I have seen on a few people's reviews of the three storms, uh, oftentimes the strap will, the paint will bleed off. Um, but this one looks pretty crisp. Not too bad. There's a little bit of um, skin tone bleeding right there. But not too much. It's barely even noticeable. Unless you have a really keen eye. Uh, but overall, I'm very happy with this. Um, <clears throat> this makes my 19th pop figure that I've got. Um, I've got a couple more in the coming in the mail. Uh, I've got one coming from my wife for Mother's Day. She's a big Doctor Who fan. Um, if you guys can't tell, this is being filmed um, the Thursday before Mother's Day. Uh, and it will probably be released on YouTube uh, July, I believe. Sometime in July. That's how far ahead I am on uh, pop reviews. We do pop reviews every Tuesdays. Uh, they're um, scheduled so that's how far ahead I am on scheduling pop reviews. Uh, they're already uploaded. They're just pending. Uh, they automatically get uh, published at about 5 a.m. Central Standard Time on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, check it out. Check, check out our other pop reviews. Uh, they're all um, linked to a playlist on Comic Edit TV. So if you really love Pops, just click on the playlist and watch it straight through. Uh, new Pops are added, like I said, every Tuesday. So, yeah. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, come back next Tuesday when I will be reviewing The Phantom. Pop Heroes, The Phantom, number 67, vinyl figure. And of course, lightning has fallen down. <laughs> Take care, guys. subscribe button make sure you hit the like comment below and share with your friends <laughs> i hate you